One of the many attractions for judo fans in The Hague was a seminar featuring Dutch judo hero Mark Housinger and Israel's 2013 world champion and Olympic bronze medalist Yarden Gerby, who recently announced her retirement from competitive judo. The session gave its participants the chance to interact with some bona fide judo heroes, a fantastic way to promote the sport and to motivate children into following their judo dreams. We had a chance to catch up with Yarden after the class. Um, it was a very nice experience. I already did it before in another country, like USA and uh, Poland. I like it. I like to be with kids and, of course, to give my knowledge to the adults. I think it's an amazing uh, idea for the um, Dutch Judo Federation to develop Judo because if kids or adults are coming to watch Judo and they are experienced in training Judo, it's a really nice idea just to, you know, to have some experience themselves. So it was one girl who really challenged me. She gave me the look that she can, you know, she can beat me. So I offer a run the way in front of everyone when she feels the pressure. And of course she beat me and she made me fall, but I also took girl, I think, and then also I call me. I think for the kids it's so important to make them feel that they are good and talented because in this age you must enjoy the judo. And of course it was a lot of fun for me. I'm a little bit embarrassed to lose in front of everyone. But if I will uh, raise the next champion, I made my, my job today. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm so grateful for my career. I'm world champion, Olympic uh, medalist, so many medals. I was competing a lot because I love the game. I love to compete. Um, I would say, of course, I have two best moments in my life was uh, in Rio 2013 when I was a world champion. I had the best competition day of my life. Um, I was the first Israeli to win the world championship. And of course, with this medal comes also the expectation for me to win the Olympic medal. So I was with a lot of pressure for the Olympics, but I also made it and I won the bronze medal. I learned to meet so many people around the world and to be uh, friends with them. Um, as much as we are rivals, we are also friends. So I find myself traveling around the world and I can sleep in their house. They can host me. I can host them and show them Israel. And it's really more than sport. So um, yes, I have a good friend, Clarisse, of course, a beginner from France, that we used to fight uh, twice in the award final. Uh, one time I won, the second time she won. Um, what I like about Clarisse is that she's a very happy person. She's always good mood, good vibe. And every time when I see her, she has a big smile. This is special for me because we are at the top of the top and it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. She can be the winner, I can be the winner. It doesn't matter after. Uh, after the World Championship in Rio, it was before the competition, I said, I saw a pink limo. And I said, if I win a medal, everyone in this limo on me. And I said, yeah, yeah, you're then you're just talking. And then I won. <laughs> And then they said, you're yeah, then the limo. I said, okay, you're right. I was coming uh, with my teammate in the pink limo uh, to pick up Clarisse. I called her and I said, Clarisse, I'm coming with the limo. Come down. I said, no, I don't have clothes to go out. Clarisse, I'm with the limo. I'm coming down. Like this. This is Clarisse. It, it's easy. Then she came down. We were going like through the Copacabana with a pink limo, both of us, uh, world medalists. It was just a great experience and just a great memory for me.